Yo, what is up guys? It is out of order. And today I thought I was sitting in my mansion and I thought the best way to waste your time today is I'm gonna show you how to motion track with overlays and After Effects 2024. Well, I'm not using 2024. <laughs> but anyway, let's get straight into the video, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, before we can jump into the tutorial, we need to record some clips first. So as you can see, I got Call of Duty open. We're going to record this clip real quick, and then we're going to motion track the overlays on it. So let's record it right now. That's Bill Cosby, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway, guys, welcome back to the video. As you can see, the clip finished recording, so... We're gonna we're gonna MVM stream zero this. We're talking about little Bill. Yeah, we were talking about little Bill. I'm sorry, kids. We gotta record more clips real quick. Welcome back to the video, guys. As you can see, I got my clip recorded. That took a long time. I'm so glad you guys were there with me throughout the whole adventure. But anyway, as you can see, <laughs> we got the green screen. I already green screened this out. You don't need green screen clips. I just prefer editing them. And then I also recorded a depth pass because uh, I don't know, it's kind of cool. But this video isn't about either of those. We're gonna be motion tracking overlays and compositing them to make them look sick. So here's the clip right here. Now you How essentially- do you do that? Good question. What you're gonna wanna do, guys, is cut out the part of the clip you wanna motion track. So this is like the whole clip. I just selected it, press Control Shift D to split the clip. Now we're gonna go to the end to where uh, we'll just motion track this whole part right here. Anyway, guys, all you gotta do, yeah, is right click on your clip, click over here, go to Track and Stabilize, click on Track Camera. After Effects is gonna do its own thing, but make sure you have a good clip that is steady and is not blurry or out of focus, and make sure that there's no like drop frames or lag. Or just make sure your clip is good, all right? You don't want an edgy clip. You want a clean clip that could easily be tracked. If there's too much shake or any weird wacky stuff, it's not gonna work. Once your clip is done motion tracking, you're just gonna wanna go here, click on the 3D camera tracking so you have the layer selected. So once you got the layer selected, go to 3D camera tracker, left click, and I usually like to track a solid in the middle of the frame so we have an idea of like what we're focusing on. To do that, just left click, select it, right click on it, click on create solid and camera. And also, if you can't see the track points for some reason, just go up to the top, click on view, and make sure show layers controls is on, or you can press control shift H. So as you can see, we got the solid here. We also got a camera here. Now what this camera is, is essentially going to be our 3D motion tracker. So we can start working on our scene now. So I'm going to get some overlays and the overlays we're using today, guys, are AE Juice overlays. Now they're not paying me to make this video. However, I am affiliated with them. All right. So if you want to get a discount code and all that cool stuff, my links to it will be in the description. But no joke, they're having a sale right now too. There's a Cyber Monday sale. And by the time you're watching this video, there's also probably going to be a sale going on. And these are hey. actually fire. All right. I know I'm affiliated it right but unbiasedly like they're not paying me to gas them up or right? i could flame them if i wanted to but no joke these this is a fire pack all right definitely one of the best editing packs money can buy so hey all right guys so i imported my ae juice overlay and now like i said guys you don't need to use ae juice you can use any overlay you want so let me know if you have any questions on finding some <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny about juice <laughs> Just continue. I'll link some free overlays in the description. But anyway, as you can see, we got our overlay here. Now, it's not motion track just yet, but here's how you motion track and composite it. So we're going to click this box right here to make it a 3D layer. And if you don't have this box enabled, it's because you got to click this button right here. The very bottom left corner, you see that little dot. Click that dot and boom, you get more features. So select your little overlay, make it 3D. Now, remember that solid we motion tracked? It's coming back. So now we can use the solid as coordinates so we could get the position of it and move our overlay onto that position. So to do that, I need to catch my breath. This is a move. <laughs> So to, Looking at a so to do that, all we got to do is click on our layer, press the P key. And as you can see, we get some position keyframes. Now we're going to click on our overlay as well. Press the P key again. Click on the solid. Control C the position while clicking that. Go to the other position of the portal and then control V on that. And boom, now we got matching coordinates. So now the overlay is going to be motion tracked on the solid. It's going to have the same position so we can increase this up a little bit, move it here. And you can also use these sliders as well to move it around. So I'm going to position it maybe a little bit more to the the left and more importantly i'm gonna resize it by pressing s to get the scale features out and then we can just move it around like this now the cool thing about after effects is we can drag the time around on it and it's not gonna lose its track because the camera's here if we move the camera it's gonna offset it so we don't want to touch the camera too much but we do want to move around the overlay so as you can see i'm gonna bring it up a little bit more and i think we need to move it a little bit further back so i'm gonna press p we're gonna move it a little further back using this coordinate right here and we essentially just want to move it in a spot that looks pretty cool now another thing i want 
to mention is this clip right here, as you saw in the intro of the video where I made an edit with it, I did do timer mapping on the clip. So if you want to do timer map or velocity on your clip, which is essentially speeding it up Ooh. and slowing it down, but you don't want the overlay to lag or do anything choppy, all you got to do is click this button right here. So you got to click this twice. And once you get this little icon over here, that means it's going to have frame blending. So no matter how much you slow down the clip, it's going to warp the frames together so it doesn't look like it's lagging or stuttering. So now that we got our first overlay motion track, I'm going to motion track a few more overlays doing the same method. That I just showed you and then I'll come back and teach you guys more about compositing all right, so as you guys can see, I finished motion tracking all the overlays. It looks pretty chaotic. I did add some depth passes that I showed you guys earlier. If you don't know what a depth pass is, it's basically this black and white pass where you can have effects affect at a distance. So as you can see, I basically used that pass I recorded earlier on my video game to add some fog. And as you can see, it looks kind of nice with that fog. But nevertheless, as you can see, I got all these overlays scattered about. It looks super chaotic. They're pretty much all spaced around differently. I changed the position on them a bunch. But there is one thing I did add that I think you guys would love to know. So as you can see on this little gun clip right here, I did add a little bit of um, some tint on it using a free plugin called VC Color Vibrance. I'll leave it in the description down below. I highly recommend downloading it. It is free and it basically just is a nice little tint. It's a lot better looking than the default After Effects tint. So be sure to check that out. And another thing a lot of people don't know about is if you right click on any layer and you go to layer styles, you pretty much have access to these tools right here, which are very similar to Photoshop's blending modes. So by right clicking and going to layer styles, I added an inner shadow and as you can see, I just changed it to linear dodge so it looks like there's some light coming onto it So with the linear dodge on as you can see we got some light coming on it I didn't want it too strong So I only made it 22% and you can mess around with the size and distance to get that look you're going for and that's how I made It look like there's glow being shined on the gun So I haven't even really added any effects yet besides the tint and all the overlays But the overlays alone look pretty good and another cool thing about VC color vibrance is let's say your overlay is black and white So as you can see this overlay has color, but if it was black and white if you add vc color vibrance on it you can still change the color of these overlays and it looks pretty natural it looks really good i made a simple color grade right here so this is what it looks like without the color grade and this is what it looks like with it now i've made a bunch of videos talking about color grading and i probably might make some more in the future i added some basic glow just to give it a little bit more depth and after the glow guys i also added s ultra glow which is a sapphire plugin and i am affiliated by sapphire too so if you want to get some sapphire plugins be sure to check it out in the description down below i just added this to add a little bit more depth and a little bit more of a blue glow and it looks pretty nice and I also added CC light rays which gives it even a different type of glow this is built into After Effects 2 so it makes really good color grading and I also got Lumetri color on here too which is After Effects little color grading program and I usually use plugins for color grading but I, I figured you know might as well not use plugins throughout the whole vid so all I did was increase the exposure a little bit lower the highlights a little bit added some tint on here messed around with the curves and I also did a vignette too which is one of my favorite things to do. I really love vignette and I feel like it looks so much better with it. You can also invert the vignette too so if you want it to be white you can do it white. I prefer making it nice dark and gloomy so hey we got the lumetri colors on it. And then lastly I just added a little bit more glow and I also added star glow as well. And that's how to motion track and composite overlays guys. I really hope you learned something new. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. My editing pack, editing discord, and social medias are also down below in the description as well. And if you want to get the overlays I used in this video my affiliate link is down below as well it's a link to ae juice and i honestly unbiasedly like they're not paying me to say anything good about them all right they're not telling me to make this video i'm just making this video because i want to teach you guys how to use these overlays but genuinely they make some really good plugins so be sure to check that out too and slam dunk on that like button like shaquille o'neal all right guys i'll catch you guys in the next video boys peace out gamers